Back to the markets now, and as we've seen, the local stock market tumbled about 1.7 percent at the opening this morning. That's not as bad as some commentators had feared, but it still looks like it could be a stomach-churning week for investors. Roger Montgomery is an investment advisor and the founder of Montgomery Investment Management. So, Roger, are things getting worse? Uh, look, it certainly appears that way on the stock market. There is a, a, a path forward where things might get better, but we might see it worse in the stock market initially. We were, um, we were about 70% cash back in April in anticipation of this, uh, and I don't know how much worse it could get, um, but while things continue to look like they're slowing down globally, uh, we could be in for a rough ride. When you say we could be in for a rough ride, you mean specifically in Australia? Oh, absolutely. In Australia, for example, we've only got one cylinder that's been running for the last couple of years, uh, and that cylinder was resources. Uh, but because we've had iron ore prices starting to come down, and I think they're going to come down a lot more, uh, we may have no cylinders of the Australian economy running, and that's what the market's now starting to factor in. Well, we have been talking many, many times about falling markets, but is this time any different? No, look, ultimately you use these as an opportunity to buy wonderful businesses when they're cheap, and that's what we do. It's only that we anticipated uh, declining, uh, declining iron ore prices as a result of increasing supply, as well as um, slowing demand from China. Having anticipated that, we sold a lot of shares back in April, uh, and that's put us in a really good position to buy some more now. Um, but we see this as something that we'll get through, uh, and, uh, and we're starting to buy. And for the first time in a long time, uh, Roger, bond rates are grabbing the headlines. What does that tell us? Well, it tells us that the, the, the market, particularly the, um, the, the bond market, uh, and the futures market, which is which is based on the bonds in the based on bond prices and where they're anticipated to be in the future, is now expecting lower interest rates going forward. And what that means is potentially a recession in Australia. Uh, so there may be more pressure on the Reserve Bank of Australia being exerted by the market for them to lower rates. So you think we will see a rate cut tomorrow? Look, ultimately, Roz, I, I don't know and I don't try and predict these things. Rates go up and down all the time. I don't think it matters in the long run in terms of how we invest. But yes, there's certainly more pressure on them to cut rates again because the, the, the monetary policy now is less effective. The banks have come out and they've said we're not going to follow the Reserve Bank with rate cuts uh, and that means they have to cut more uh, in order to have the effect that they, they originally had with maybe one cut. They need to cut more frequently. And looking specifically at Europe, uh, Roger, billionaire investor George Soros says Europe has a three-month window in which to turn things around. How do you see things playing out there? Well, he hasn't become a billionaire from making mistakes. He's usually fairly prescient uh, with his calls, and I think that's right. Germany is in a situation where, on the one hand, they don't want the euro to break apart because it's to their competitive advantage. If the euro breaks apart, their currency would rally and their exports would be more expensive and they would be less competitive. So on the one hand, they don't want the euro to bust up. But on the other hand, they can't afford to continue to bail the rest of Europe out. So they're in a tough position and that's, that's what uh, George Soros is pointing out to. They have to. They have to work out a scenario forward very, very quickly and the markets aren't going to like it if they don't. Roger Montgomery, good to talk to you as ever. Thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure, Roz.